Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. Hope everybody's doing well. Doing well. Today I want to talk about power supplies for your radios, whether it be CB or ham or whatever. Uh, if you're new to the game with the Citizens Band, uh, you're going to need a power supply. Your mobile mobile radios, uh, if you buy them, if they're mobile, are going to be DC uh, 12 volt. They're going to want 13.8 volts, but they sell those uh, power supplies. They usually tell you that they're 12 volt. This is an old Micronta I got at uh, Radio Shack, if anybody remembers that. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Most of my viewers are uh, in their 30s or older, so they probably remember Radio Shack. But anyway, this was a brand that uh, Radio Shack uh, supplied. You know, this one particular particularly is a, uh, a linear power supply, 12 volt power supply, uh, that is only, uh, two and a half amps, I think. Let me turn this puppy around. We'll find out. Uh, let's see that plate there. Yeah. 60 Watts, 60 Hertz max, 13.8 volts, DC, two and a half amps, uh, power supply. So yeah, this will work if you have a citizen band radio that's only uh, four watts and you're running barefoot. <clears throat> now, if you're using sideband, it will still work for it. Uh, that should be enough current draw. Usually, uh, or amperage draw, even on sideband, should be fine. Usually in your manual, not that anybody reads them, but you should, especially with the radios they're selling nowadays, like President and Striker and whatnot. Striker's a bad example because that's a 10 meter radio when it has more power. And one of these power supplies, a two and a half amp or even a three amp or a five amp is not gonna cut it. So we're talking strictly barefoot 11 meter radios here. Um, this, this kind of a small power supply, you could probably pick them up still um, used on eBay or something like that. And you know, these little power supplies also can run other things in your shack. Some of these meters, like the one in the back there, uh, may have a light on it or something. And, uh, uh, you know, you could run them off a of DC. Sometimes you have to. But, yeah, one of these little ones will run a regular barefoot 4-watt radio, AM, FM, or uh, sideband. I know there's some a FM radios coming out now that the FCC approved that. But anyway, but if you're running any more than that, say you're running, a, say you're an amateur, you're running a 10-meter radio, one of these little two and a half ampers is not going to work, as you know. And there's plenty of power supplies out there, linear and switching switching power supplies. Switching power supplies are a lot s smaller. They're actually like close to this size, and they could be up to 30 amp or 40 amp or 20 amp uh, rated. But they're a lot lighter. But they do make some noise, and they do have fans in them. And sometimes you'll hear that fan on your radio when you transmit uh, sometimes not, um, there's more, uh, dials on those switching transmitters, or switching power supplies, I'm sorry, uh, which you can, if you have any birdies, you can kind of tune them to a certain way, so that you don't have birdies on your band, things like that. Another power supply I have here in the shack, I hope you can see this, is an old trip light model PR40A. This is a 40 amp power supply, uh, linear as well. And output 3.8 volts, uh, 40 amp DC, uh, regulated, low ripple, low ripple. So it's trying to keep those uh, birdies out of there. Uh, and it's got fuses on them. They both have fuses on them just in case. And as you can see in the back there, I have a lot of wires hooked up to that. I have the, uh, the Yesu is hooked up to that. And that draws on 100 watts, uh, what is it, about 20 amps. And then I also have the ICOM IC27H on there as well. And usually I'm listening on that. And I'm usually only talking on one radio at a time. So this power supply will will uh, will handle it. And it's plenty and more than I need, actually. But it's, it's just right. But the only thing is with this size linear. And they still sell this model, just the faceplate is different, by Triplight. You can go on their website and check it out. Um, they weigh a ton. I forget, I'm, I don't know, a uh, ton is, uh, you know, I, I would say it's anywhere between 30 and 50 pounds, I would, I would think. Maybe like 30, 35, 40 pounds. Uh, they're crazy heavy. It's because of the old transformers that are inside of there, and circuitry is a little bigger. 
um, but they do the job and they're quiet and they're, they're reliable. This unit here, uh, I know it's probably older than I am, but it's still working, still working really good, really good. So uh, this would be good for, you know, running uh, multiple radios or projects that you may have or equipment in your in your radio shack. Or if you're you're a tinkerer or you like to build things and you need DC power, then this would be something you would uh, you would want to get. Uh, like I said, I run multiple radios here, so I have the uh, Yesu, whoops, and the uh, Icom running on that, and uh, a meter, and uh, sometimes the CB is on there when I uh, when I'm not using this or I'm using the Microna for something else. So yeah, there's a lot of options out there. You really just have to do and get what's best for you in within your budget. Um, or maybe you just don't have the space for this. I mean, I got this thing sitting on a you know a milk crate, uh, which gives it some air to air movement, and then it's not sitting on the carpet down there. But uh, you know, you got to do what's best for you. If you have the room for this, then great get it you know and then you don't have to deal with the fans you don't have to deal with uh some of the noise you may get on a switching power supply now that that's on that's not on every switching power supply there there are really good ones out there and it's good they're very mobile they're lightweight and i'll probably get one as well someday uh as a backup for this puppy but uh you know it is what it is so you do what's best for you and I just wanted to talk about that. What kind of power supply do you guys use at, at home? Uh, I'd be curious to know. And there's lots of them out there. Pyramid makes them. Uh, what is it? Astron, I believe, is another good one. Um, Trip Light, they're really reliable. MFJ makes switching power supplies. Lots of brands out there. I know if you go to Gigaparts, HRO, uh, MFJ... Uh, you know, trip light website, you can find all sorts of uh, different power supplies out there. Pyramid, that's one that's been around for ages, you know, trusted and true. So a lot of power supplies out there for your radios. Once again, like I said, if you're getting a mobile uh, CB radio, you know, you're going to want to, whoops, I don't have that connected, sorry. But you're going to need uh, DC volts. You need 13.8 volts for a mobile CB radio. But I know most of you gentlemen know that. So anyway, just talking power supplies. Put in the comments, uh, you know, what you're using at home. I'd be curious to know. All right, guys, take care. This is Mike Cricket 113. Have fun with those radios. Take care.